There's so many people that it hires just because of those coils. It puts so many people to work. Especially the family wage kind of jobs where you can go and make a living. Building right here close to home is, is huge for us and it's huge for our families. It starts overseas and then we get to it, and then we put it on the ground, and then they come and get it. We'll bring them in, we run them through a hydrochloric bath. It'll take all the rust and scale off of it. We'll take all the shape out of it from being coiled up, trim it to whatever width we need, wrap it back up, and send it on down the line. We pick up our coil from Steelscape right down the street, so we'll put it on a machine that takes a wide coil and cuts it down to the right width. That way we get the profile the customers asked for, and it'll run through a series of dies that slowly, my new angle changes from die to die to die from big rollers. Iron workers wear their steel. We install all the steel sheeting from the structural steel to the sheeting. Being able to manufacture here and install here, it's huge for me. I've been doing this for a while, but it's huge for uh, younger generations coming up, make a living you know, right here in their community that they grew up in. This is our domain right here is Kalama and Longview. You know, we, we do our part and get it off the ship, so it's kind of cool to see the whole entire circle. Yesterday we did 30 tons of steel and I got to look back and, you know, 30 tons of steel we moved by hand. It's a nice size building. I do believe it's 110,000 square foot. Working with the port, like I've done before on a few other projects in Kalama, has been a great experience. Get her done kind of attitude, you know. I think the area has always been some type of industrial, you know, whether it's the forest industry, steel industry, you know, you've got paper. It's always kind of been that way for this area. This is what it was built for, you know, as industry, you know, Longview, Kelso, Kalama. To see it growing like this and having good companies come in, where us as construction workers, we make good living. You know, they're pretty lucky. Our workers are making, you know, a good living. And we've hired a lot of people in the last few years. So I think uh, definitely it's improved. We have so many employees that live in the area. They love it when we get these close to home jobs. We get to put our stamp right here at home on a project that's gonna look pretty awesome.